So you want some pointers for solving multi-step equations, huh? Um, I would say that sort of the best pointer I can give you is to take the steps one at a time. Um, take each step one at a time. Because really, a multi-step equation is just all is a, a whole bunch of one steps that you're going to do one after another. Now I know that that seems obvious, but really thinking about it as a multi-step equation may psych you out. Thinking of it as just a one-step equation that isn't done yet, you have to know another one-step equation afterward, tends to, I think, sort of break it down a little more easily for you. So let's take an example of one. Um, say we have two times x plus three minus seven equals 10. Yeah, this is a multi-step equation. There are a number of steps that are required in order to solve this equation. But if we take the steps one at a time and use the same rules that we would use if it was a one-step equation, it's not going to be any harder than if we did three one-step equations. So the first thing we need to do is start looking for what we need to get rid of. We want x by itself on one side, and we want all the numbers on the other side. And we want to do that by undoing what's there and as we're undoing things, do our order of operations backwards because we're undoing stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this negative 7. So we get rid of the negative 7 by adding 7. That's the opposite. So if we have a negative 7 and we add 7 to it, we're going to have 0. And then we need to add 7 to this side so that our two sides stay equal. So now over here on the left, we're just going to have 2 times x plus 3. And that's going to be equal to 17, 10 plus 7. Now our next step is either parentheses or multiplication. But since we're doing our order of operations backwards, we'll do the multiplication. And if we want to undo multiplication, we need to use the opposite. That's division. So we're going to divide both sides by 2. And obviously I chose 2 because that was the number that was being multiplied by. So now I have 2 times something divided by 2. Well, obviously that's going to cancel out. If I multiply it by 2 and then divide by 2, those two things are going to cancel each other out. So I'm going to have just x plus 3 over here. On the other side, I'm going to have 17 divided by 2. That's 8 and a half. Now I have x plus 3 equals 8 and a half, and I want to get rid of that positive 3. Now I don't need the parentheses anymore because I'm not multiplying it by anything. So I can just pretend they're not even there. They're not going to do any, they're not going to change anything. So I want to get rid of that 3, so I'll subtract. That's the opposite of addition. Subtract 3 from both sides. This will go away. On my left side, I'll have just x. And on my right side, I'll have 8 and a half minus 3. That's 5 and a half. So you can see, a multi-step equation is just a number of one-step equations. Here's a step right here. Here's a step right here. And here's a step right here. This one was just adding. Add 7. This one was just dividing by 2. And this one was just adding 3 or subtracting 3, I'm sorry, was just subtracting 3. So pretty simple steps. All together, it looks a little complicated. Broken down into pieces, no problem.